Hello, I'm Didier Stevens. This is a video that I wanted to record for some time now. I'm going to show you how to use a GNU Radio Companion without any uh, software-defined uh, radio device. Um, just the just software, show you how you can still do some simple things like uh, generate signals and, and uh, listen to those signals, for example, combine them. And uh, we are going to start with just a, a simple uh, sound wave that is generated and we are going to listen to it. And then later I'm going to combine two uh, sound waves to have an, an acoustic beat. And as you can see here on Wikipedia, a, a beat is an interference pattern between two sounds of slightly different frequencies. And that's what I'm going to do here. So let me go over to New Radio Companion. So I have a new um, schema here. I'm going to change some settings, like I prefer the WX GUI. And the sample rate, since we are going to work with audio, I'm going to put the sample rate at 48 kilohertz, like this. And now, so we need a signal source. And in the waveform generators here, you have signal source, double click this, and it appears here. So 48 kilohertz for the sample rate, cosine, the frequency of the source is 1 kilohertz, and the amplitude is 1. And it's a complex output. The blue uh, says that the output is a complex number, so I'm going to change some things. First of all, we're going to go to floating point, uh, real numbers, mm, because we are going to work with audio and I'm going to put the frequency at 400 Hz. Because if you're uh, still familiar with the old phone sets, um, the 400 Hz is the tone that you hear uh, when you lift uh, the phone set. So this is going to generate uh, a source like this, and then we need also uh, a speaker to listen to this, and in audio you can go to Audio Sync. The Audio Sync here is at 48 kilohertz. We can just connect the two like this and then I can run this program. Now I need to save it first so let's say video beat and save this. And now what you hear is that 400 hertz uh, tone. Let me stop that. I also want to uh, visualize uh, that signal. And for that, I'm going to go to instrumentation, WX, and I'm going to take the scope like this. The scope here, 48 uh, kilohertz, that's okay. Uh, not complex, I want float. And I am also just going to connect this output to here. So in GNU Radio, that's uh, really simple, just uh, connect it. And then when I run this, here, so we hear the sound but we can also see the signal and if I go to manual and increase the number of seconds per division you can see here the uh, cosine wave. So the amplitude is 1 as you can see and let me stop this And now what I'm going to do is add another source. So let me first delete these connectors like this. And I'm going to copy this block like this. Have two sources and I'm going to combine them. And here also in GNU Radio, this is uh, easy. We just need a mathematical operator to add two numbers, this one here. And as you can see, it is blue, 
that's complex, but I don't want complex, I want floating point. And then I can add the two inputs together and then go to my speaker and to my scope. So both cosine 400 amplitude 1, run this. like this and let me raise this a bit like this so now you can see uh, that the amplitude is 2 and we go from top 2 to uh, bottom minus 2 and that is because here we are adding two signals together of amplitude 1 so at the top and uh, when you add both together 1 plus 1 gives 2 and at the bottom, minus 1, minus 1 is minus 2. So that's why the amplitude is larger here. Let me stop this. Okay. And now we are going to make uh, an acoustic beat. So I'm going to change the frequency very slightly. I'm going to put it at 401 hertz, like this. And let me run this. Okay. And now what you hear, eh, this uh, signal uh, becoming louder and then less loud and uh, becoming silent and then loud again, eh, that is uh, an acoustic beat effect. Eh. So two signal sources, two sine waves here eh, of, of a very slightly different uh, frequency are combined, they are added together. Eh. And so since they are not in phase, you have moments where they will cancel each other out and you have moments where they will amplify each other. Mm. And on the Wikipedia page, uh, this is nicely illustrated here mm, uh, with this diagram and here uh, uh, with this uh, movie where you can see this. Mm. So if I come back to this and I go to Auto Range, I disable this. And let's increase the count here that we have two. Okay, so you see now that it is variating between zero and 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 two. And if I increase the number of seconds per division, uh, here you see something like a pulsating uh, sine wave. But if I continue to increase this, you can now see that the amplitude of the pulsation also changes. Let me increase this further, like this. One more. Okay, and now we can see uh, a nice uh, beat pattern. Hmm. And you see that uh, the sine wave uh, when they are combined, they increase, increase until maximum, and then they go down until the, the minimum. Well, no, zero, sorry, and the minimum is here, and so on. So, <clears throat> what you can also see is that the, the distance between those two zeros is one second. And that also um, is illustrated here on the Wikipedia page. Eh? The, the beat frequency, so the uh, increasing and decreasing of the sound that you hear, the, the beat frequency is just the difference between the two frequencies that you are combining. Mm. So we are combining 400 and 401, so the difference is 1 hertz, and, and 1 hertz is indeed uh, a frequency that um, has a, a difference here of, of 1 second. Uh, 1 hertz corresponds to a period of 1 second.